grammatically, an infinitive is something that, that grabs our attention, uh, something that makes a demand of us, uh, something, something that, that just reaches out, shakes us a bit, and sends us in a new direction. Paul concludes, Peter concludes, Peter concludes his Pentecost Day sermon with four infinitive statements, four commandments, responses to the question from the crowd who are in awe of all they have seen. What must we do to have this? For ourselves. What is God asking of us? Here's the first commandment of the new church. Thou shalt change your heart and change your life. Change your heart. That little voice inside of you that gives you direction and guidance, the one you rely on to help you make decisions. Well, some things about that voice need to change. Some things about that voice need to change. It, it's a change from, I need a drink, to, I need some help. It's, it's a change from, I need a fix, to, I need to be fixed. It's a shift from, I want to wall the world off, to, how do I make a new friend? Change your life. Do it. Our Father in heaven, give me the strength I need. Do something nice for someone else today. Change of heart, inner change. Along with behavioral change. That's the first commandment of the new church. If we would want that excitement, and joy of Pentecost, of Easter life in, in our lives. A change of heart, a change of life uh, that gives direction, that strengthens and affirms the new life that is beginning to take root in us. This has been more from West Highlands United Methodist Church with a thought for your day. Just another way of reaching out. Thank you.